Hello everyone, welcome to Cornflower Crafts. My nickname is Corn. And I'm here today because I thought you all might want to join me in finishing up the card that will go with my mini gnome Valentine's Day giveaway. And it's been a while, hadn't it, since we did this. And as you all know, if if you're new here, you might not know, I just chatter away and <laughs> while I'm crafting and I am a slow crafter so if you do not like to watch slow crafters I don't think you'll enjoy this video but I do have some subbies God love them that even stay with me till the end bless their hearts and those who drop by to say hey hi everybody hope everybody's doing great today I used to call this words for Wednesday but <laughs> Because I just chatter away. But first off, I want to tell you all um, what I'm using. Now, one thing I do is I go ahead and do part of it um, without doing a video because I don't fast forward. So um, it would just, this video would be so long. Ooh, boy. And most people don't have that kind of time, really. And I, and I understand. So the first thing I did, this is an embossed. Um, card base that I purchased from Michaels about four or five years ago, I believe, about four years ago. And what I do when it's embossed, not always, but uh, with this one, I got my spun sugar distress oxide and my little dauber here. I know, isn't that a mess, but it's saturated, so I won't give it up till I have to. And just lightly go, uh, well, around it all. And then just lightly try to go on the um, embossed areas. And um, another uh, ink that I'm using um, today is the Kitsch Flamingo. And yes, that is a bright pink. But look at the colors that I'm using. So the very first thing I do, and, and I think it's important if it's a handmade card to sign it or at least do like so. Um, this is my nod, my using my stickers here. A lot of times I'll have die cuts or I do use stickers here too, but a lot of times die cuts or punches or something. But this is my nod to sticker Saturday um, that is an open collab hosted by Crafting Rose. And she's always encouraging us to use the stickers we have in our stash. So I looked in my February bend and bin. I said bend. <laughs> bin. And um, found these that I, these are from Hobby Lobby that I had never used before. So, and they do have glitter on them. I hope that's showing up in that light. So I do that first because if you're building up, as you know, when you turn it over to sign it, it's, you know what I mean, instead of just lying flat, it's not as much fun. So what I've already done is on the inside, um, first, well, who can I do? Let me show you my paper. Y'all might already know it. Yes, it is a Prima paper that I got that's, um, Frank Garcia did, and it's Magic Love. Ooh. And let me kind of th thumb through it for you. As you can see, I've whoa, used quite a bit here and there. Um, there are cut aparts. As you know, you get so many pages of one design. There are cupids. There are even little chickens, <laughs> little peeps, and little bunny rabbits that are in the orchestra <laughs> they're playing instruments and it says things like fill my heart with love and um it has the stamps and i will since i get to decorate the envelope also i have already cut out a few of these stamps that i'm going to use and oh well i'm going to use just one on that envelope and Look at the lamb. Isn't that the sweetest lamb? Oh, I love this. And I love these baskets of flowers. 
We're going to back of this one. That's the tough thing, but you get so many, it's not as hard a decision, but it's so tough when it's double-sided, isn't it? To say, well, I want to use that one. No, this one. No, that one. No, this one. That one. <laughs> look at this one. I mean, look at the back of that. It's just yum. And then look at, well, I guess I should do like so. How yummy, yum, yum is that? I have a door stopper that, uh, I don't know how vintage it is. It's been around a while that I repainted it. Oh, I just love those baskets of flowers. Okay, well, that's what I'm using. So what I did, first what I did, I'll let y'all know about my mistakes too. Um, I had wanted to, to map or get everything out that I wanted to put on um, the front of the card. And so this right here is going to be a um, tuck spot or pocket. And that's going to be for some die cuts that I did here, here. Uh, isn't that gorgeous, the, the vellum one? Oh, yummy. The, this one, this one, this one. It is these hearts are going to be in this pocket like so, so that the winner of the little gnomes, if they would like to make a card, their own card with this, they'll have it. Now, um, but that's on this side. So what I had done, of course I was working late at night. <laughs> I have, it's not really an excuse. I, I know I've said that before and it sounds like corn, you just make an excuse, but no. If I get really tired, um, I just think, oh, that's pretty. You know what I mean? I'm not thinking, oh, wait a minute, I have to have a pocket here since I already have a pocket on the front here, that kind of thing. So what I had done, this piece here, that gorgeous basket of pink roses and red roses and white roses, oh, I just think it's gorgeous, was on a piece of paper that I had cut um, in a triangle. You know, it would have come like this and then I fussy cut here and then down like so. But I thought to myself today, I thought, girl, what are you thinking? You're going to have all of that, you know, all of the, the hearts and I've got cut aparts to put in this pocket. This side of your cards are going to be so, you know, up like so. And I was like, Urch. so I went ahead and Looked at the papers again. I thought this was lovely. Love it that the dove is carrying pink roses. How yummy is that? <clears throat> Excuse me. And I also used for right here, I used this We Are Memory Keepers punch. I just think it looks like uh, eyelet. So that's why I wanted to use it. And um, then since I already had my pocket, I thought, well, what can I put here to dress this up? Because this was just plain. So I thought I need something. So I thought, well, you've already got that pocket. Go ahead and you've already fussy cut this part. Go ahead and fussy cut the rest of it out. Put it up on some Dollar Tree foam. Because as you know, let me get that. The Dollar Tree foam is not thick, is it? It's very thin. And since this was on the inside of the card, I didn't want it the super thick, I have a nice thick foam. I was like, I don't want it too much. So I'm, I'm happy with how that came out. I do add, to be honest, I do add glue to the front and the back of this, um, just, just to be safe, just to make sure that it stays safe with that. You know what I mean? So we've got that done. And then I thought, okay, let's do this together. So what I had done is a fussy cut this image. Isn't that lovely? Look at the little cupid with the heart. <laughs> and I went ahead and put the, a little bling already here and here. I had taken them out of a package and I don't know where I got them. This is a, a, a dark pink. It's not red, it's a dark pink. And I had done that for my Nomi's. But I ended up not using it. Do you all do that? Do you just pull all this stuff out? And then you're like, mm, nah, I'm going to use something else. <laughs> I do that all the time. That's why if the camera wasn't here and it panned out, you'd be like, oh, corn, what a mess. 
So I wanted this, see this is, is actually like a straight edge. So I wanted that there. And I want this over enough. I'm going to have to probably cut these little leaves off. But I wanted that there. And then I did some more um, fussy cutting of this is with love and I think it's devotion. Yeah, devotion. I'm not sure which, where I got this larger flatback pearl, but I think that is from Walmart in the past. They used to have the little flatback pearls um, for, what was it, 98 cents? I doubt if they do that anymore. And then these two little gems, believe it or not, they come from, let me get this out, from here. You know, normally when I purchase bling like this, it's from Dollar Tree, y'all. I leave it alone, you know what I mean? I'll just cut it here or cut it, you know, and, and place it on a card or in a journal or what have you. But sometimes I need little teeny tiny teeny gems. And so I went looking for them in pink and didn't find them or didn't find the ones I wanted. So what I did, you can see right here, I took them off of here. <laughs> and those are these two. We're at the end here. And I, I like the way they look. So I also, when I was making my Nomi's, remember I told you on my girl's um, hat that I put two pieces together to make the heart, and that's this. You put these two teardrop gems together, and you've got a heart. So I'm... Um, <laughs> Yeah, I'm messing with these guys. I'm messing with them. Okay. So, let's get started on this. And I think what I want to do first... Oops. Oh, yeah. Also, this is embroidery floss. I think it's this one. Is it? Yeah. This is the DMC and number 3608. And what I do... I took two strands on this one and I just wrap it and wrap it and wrap it and then I take um, I, when I take it off my hand I, I put this strand under and this strand over and it kind of holds it in that circle for me now you can mess it all up if you want and everything but I didn't want to this time around I also have a little piece of vintage doily that I had dyed a few years back. And I thought that color-wise they were perfect together. And then I also cut this little piece of lace that is also on my little girl gnomes hat. And I did the same thing here that I did for her hat. I, I, I just wanted to have those hearts stand out. So I take these scissors and I literally just cut here, 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 you know, back, forth, back, forth till I get it to look like that. Yes, um, in case you're thinking, Cole, you're so persnickety. I am. I, I am a persnickety person. I want things to look like I want them to look. And I also want this to be the front to be the front, the back to be the back. So first off, we are going to glue, whoa, glue these down here, okay? We'll come over to this. Oh, do I still have that? Yes, um, I got this a few years back too from the paper studio. I rounded these corners in this darling little heart corner punch. Isn't that precious? That teeny tiny heart comes out. And I have to match it up to this, y'all so that you can see those hearts. Now, first off, first things first, put this over here, put this here, <laughs> and we're going to get out our art glitter glue. And I tell you something, it feels odd to be doing paper crafting again, because even though that's what you all know me most of on YouTube, I do a most of my life, I've done a little bit of everything. So it was fun to get into all that other crafting at Christmas. I can tell you that. And to be honest and blunt, it was fun to take a break. 
I did work on the house, but you know what I mean, a break from um, crafting helps me I'll be honest with you. It's very therapeutic. Most people on here say the same. Um, but sometimes you just need a break from a lot of stuff, don't you? And that's what I took. I know some people get a little upset with you when you don't watch, you know, when they're used to watching their videos and commenting and stuff. That doesn't mean I didn't have videos on in the background and give you a thumbs up, but I didn't always comment. I will say that. That part's true. So the thing about Art Glitter Glue, as you already know, is it's fast, fast drying, number one, and it does dry clear, which is a good, good thing. And you might say, Courtney, do not see the least? Kind of. Do, 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 do. So before I put everything, well, maybe I should do it now. This piece, as you see, I just cut it to match and then tear it. And then first I went over it with my sponge sugar and then my pitch flamingo. Kind of a combo there. Uh, da -da 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 -da. This needs to go on first because it's, as you see, it's pretty thick. Now, wait a minute. This should go on before I do anything else. Yeah, I'm going to line this up, y'all. Let's line this up so that we don't get... So we know exactly what we're doing. Okay. So, as you know, we're going to do the three sides to make a little pocket. If I can get my art glitter glue to come out. Come on now. It says, it's been a while. <laughs> okay. I don't need that much. Then I need to get it right on, right over, 100% over the heart that's there. And as you know, with art glitter glue, you've only got a little tiny time. Because then it's like, I'm on. That's it. It's over. <laughs> okay. All right, so we want that. Then we want this piece. I want that to be around there. And this to be around here. Maybe right there. And then I need to see if I, yeah, I need to kind of prop this up some. Okay. So we'll do this first. Oops. Let me put the pen in my art glitter glue because as we all know, uh-oh, it's already closed up. Okay. This is my favorite glue in the world. I seriously don't know what I'd do with that. You know? I don't like the price of it. <laughs> I don't like that. But I love this glue. Okay. So we're going to go about here. And just remember not to um, put any, I think I went over too far. Don't put the glue on there because, let me see something. There. But you don't want to close your pocket, do you? Well, don't want that. All right. So then I'm just going to glue this part down here. Okay. Ooh, that's a going everywhere, y'all. It's happy where it is. Alrighty. And then, let me 
me see if I want that like there. I can use that, but I'm going to need something down here, y'all. Hey, that's cute, look. <laughs> okay. Um, maybe just one of these. I don't think so, but maybe. And whenever I have something sticky, this is what I use to cut it with. They are Fiskars, and they are excellent when you've got to cut something sticky. Maybe I'll put one on top of the other. Let's see if that'll do it for us. I hope I'm in frame. I hope, I hope. Oops. See, that's what I do love about Fabri-Tac is I can, you know, have a few seconds to move it around if, if needs be. So, okay. Sorry, guys. Most of my stuff is across from me. cut this off of my mat, you know, the big mat that a lot of us get, um, so that I could do stuff like this. <laughs> like, ew. Okay. Maybe one would have sufficed. I'm not sure. But I'm liking, especially with the floss coming out here and coming out here, maybe cut a little bit of it off. There we go. All right. I'm not through yet. I also made one of my little rosettes with a rose in the middle. <laughs> and um, it's hand sewn and hand gathered. And then what I'm gonna do is put, if I can, I have the hardest time putting my, um, what are they called? Repositional dots the glue dots that remove easily these guys i have too hard of a time but let me try to find let me see here um, Dollar Tree, and I have to go through it. Sorry, I'm not finding the ones I want. I'm finding my black ones, which I love, but I don't think I want them on this. Oh boy, where are the ones I want? Sorry, guys, this, now that's not cool. I should have had everything organized. Well, let's see if I can use. Use these guys. They're easily removed. Let's let's see if they're easily removed from here. 
I thought I'd put them on that instead of gluing it down because I thought that, um, let's see, they don't want to come up. Oh, that's infuriating. Okay, I got it. Um, because I thought the winner might want to remove it and use it on their card, you know? I'll work with that. I'll put that back later. I wasted too much time. I was going to put it on right now, but then I thought, no, I need to make sure I put everything, <laughs> that I put it on the front of the card properly. So, <laughs> now we're going to put this baby on. And I definitely have a spot that I want. I want this to go. Here. Like I said, I might have to say bye-bye to a couple of these little leaves, but I think that'd be all right. Okay. Um, normally, I would do it with my um, Fabri-Tac, but, well, maybe I'll do this. Um, to get... The Fabri-Tac has a little sheen to it when it dries. And I want these little leaves and pieces to um, adhere. So I'm going to go ahead and do like so. And then do my Fabri-Tac. And if I didn't close it. And yes, I off, I'm just worried already that my uh, art glitter glue is already dry. <laughs> okay. And then I want this to go exactly like that. So... And that has to be glued down nicely because, like I said, the, over here is where those hearts are going to go, the die cuts. So, um, I'll use these since this does have some glue on it. Okay. There we go. That's what I wanted. make a joke and say put a pin in it <laughs> if you're still with me what are you guys working on do you do valentine's like I mentioned in my giveaway, I don't do a lot of Valentine. Used to. In fact, my favorite pocket letter I ever did, oh, was a Valentine thing for a friend in Canada. And um, nice lady. So, I think it was the best pocket letter I ever made. That's how I started in paper crafting. That's what started it all. I just, to me, pocket letters are so much fun. I don't know if you get more fun than that. You get all those wonderful ATCs. You get nine of them, or unless you do a mini. 
Minis are fun too, aren't they fun? Oh, so much fun. Let's put this out because I like I like the those little fibers. Okay, so we've got this here. This is what goes in here. We've got this. I was going to take the corners and round the corners, but then I thought this the the winner might not want to to do that. The winner might want the sharp corners or the squared corners. I was like, oh, nah, don't don't do that. And then here. And yes, I have a small space to write in um, to congratulate the winner or I can make a little you know just write on a piece of paper and fold it and put it in like so and um, then here we're gonna go boom 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 This is going to be a little snug. <laughs> there we go. Like so. And then I'll decorate the envelope another time. So that's that's how it's, it's going to be for the winner of my Valentine Nomies. I'd like to thank you all so much for joining me. Bless your heart. 31 minutes. And I hope you have a wonderful morning, afternoon, or evening. Bye-bye, everybody. Take good care.